dumped the King James Bible for many years after that. And what we also notice is that some people in their list of uh, editions, they might list the year 1644 and 1664 as revisions. But these editions of those years are not in any way even remotely really revisions of the King James Bible. The 1701 revision, again, has no real bearing on the history of the King James Bible as far as its uh, presentation, though there are some uh, innovations and improvements that might be noted from it. The one of 1762 really was incomplete. So the 1769, which uh, is the major revision of the King James Bible as far as bringing the spelling into standardisation and the language use and, and also the italics, that really being one of the most important uh, became the basis of modern printing of the King James Bible today in modern editions. After that you see in the Cambridge tr tradition and in the Oxford tradition quite a number of slightly differing editions. Uh, you see an improvement on the 1769. You also see uh, in, even in the 20th century if you compare a 1917 American printed uh, Schofield Oxford Bible to a normal uh, Oxford Bible printed from Britain, let's say from uh, the 1950s, you'll find there's some differences between them. So even one printing company in their own editions you'll find some slight differences in wording, spelling and uh, punctuation in their place or two and things like that. So between the Oxford and the Cambridge you'll find there, there might be a, perhaps a few hundred differences between editions printed by Oxford and Cambridge, a few hundred places of differences it, between the, the two major printed printing houses, their editions. So then which one is the standard and the right one? Well, we know that the Cambridge is, but in the 20th century there are four different editions of the Cambridge. There's the Victorian Cambridge edition which came out of the late 1800s. There's the pure Cambridge edition which was printed throughout the 20th century. There's the Concord edition which finds uh, its predominance in, in the late 1980s onward. And also the standard text edition which uh, really came about in probably around 1993 which was actually uh, based on the Aaron Spottiswood London text turned to Oxford and printed by Oxford. So what, uh, sorry, Cambridge. So what you see there is that that there are four different uh, discernible Cambridge editions, Cambridge editions in the 20th century. Which one of these editions is the right one? If we say the Cambridge, well it has to be one. It's the pure Cambridge edition. And uh, this, you can find out more about it on the website www.bibleprotector.com. Now this last edition being the 1850 uh, revision, according to the question of the mocker, which revision of the KJV is inspired and or preserved since it was revised ten times, the last being in 1850, uh, the American revision of 1852 does not constitute a normal traditional edition of the King James Bible. It was in fact uh, a modernization edit which brought in changes which were undesirable. They were rejected even by their own people that particular revision. Uh, it cannot be counted as the last revision because uh, both it's not truly a revision of the normal type in the normal history of our you know, Oxford, Cambridge and London, London editions of the King James Bible but also because it, it was rejected and has not uh, brought forward in time the continuation of the right uh, tradition of the King James Bible. It's not the received tradition. What is the received tradition has come through the Cambridge University Press in the 20th century. And, and alongside that, uh, to a lesser extent, and, and certainly correctly in the 1900s, uh, through the Oxford and London branches as well of, of their editions. So what we can see is that the same Word of God that was originally given in the Old and New Testament times has come forward in time, has been translated in the King James Bible, which is a revision of the English Bibles that came before it, is the best Bible in the whole world, and that this has gone through presentational 
uh, purification and that the King James Bible, as it stands today in its finite conclusion of editorial work in the Pure Cambridge edition, is the uh, standard that we should use and is the one that we should adhere to as at least the best edition, but also as the representation and standard of what is actually the King James Bible as far as going right down to full stops, commas and jots and tittles, what actually is the text as it stands, the English text we're talking about, as it stands as the definitive printing. And, that, and it's completely correct. When you examine it, uh, it doesn't have mistakes and problems in it. Like when you get in Oxford, you'll find there's a few problems with it where the Oxford is different. Uh, where, where, where the Oxford is different, you'll find there's a problem there because uh, the difference will be something that will bring in a problem. There's no problem in the King James Bible. What there will be is a problem in the Oxford's presentation of it. So we come down to that there is a final and correct standard to adhere to. This is www.bibleprotector.com. I'm Matthew Bashore.